Hello guys and welcome to my first narrated Hylian Toolbox 1.7.1 .1 tutorial. I'm going to be explaining concept of multiple room maps and how to transition in between them. To have two working map files, they have to be separate components in whatever 3D modeling program you decide to use. So you would have your complete map mesh and then you would separate each room in by itself and save it as a separate file so you can import it as a separate file. Well after you have those, just open them, or open one at a time. So we'll start with room zero and then open the scene file. You should have this right here. Now this is the room zero from Flotonic's written tutorial for explaining this. There's already a transition actor here. Transition actors can be either a door or a black plane. A black plane is had a transition in between rooms without or seamlessly, like in the Lost Woods. There's no doors there. Or you can just use a door like you see in dungeons. In this map specifically, this is just a door. And transition actors are held inside of the scene file, and not the map file, so that's why it doesn't matter which room you load when you're editing these in Hylian Toolbox. Now we select the door, you see there's a red side and a green side to the door. The red side is obviously the front and the green side is the back. Now this is how you define which room it leads to. See the red side has zero as the value and it's the red side is facing towards room zero. The green side is facing towards room one. See that you can see in the collision file here, collision for room one. So you change the door to be say one, hit enter, and then you just have and it's pretty much set up. You just go to file and save. And it, and it doesn't really matter. You can open room one if you would like. It's not really necessary. But of course, the thing is backwards if you. Um, yeah, start with room one instead of room zero. See, now the back side is facing towards room one, and the red side is still facing towards room zero. You can see the little link model here. That that that's a spawn point. Those are also stored in the scene files. Now all you really have to do after you have that um, fixed, all you have to do is inject the map into um, the ROM. Go into Map Injector. There's a whole tutorial on this. Open the debug ROM. In this case, it's in my multi room folder. 035D0000 works as an injection offset most of the time. I can't recall an event in which it doesn't work. When you open the Z-Scene file, it automatically knows how many rooms are in it, so it asks you to open room 0, then room 1, and then it asks you with scenes to replace. 
I use either 104, which is room 120, or 85, which is Kokiri Forest, or spot 04 on the map select. It's properly injected. Now, we have to test it. And in this case, it's just a regular wooden door. Black Plane Actor works the same exact way and it'll look just like a door in Highland Toolbox. That's how transition actors are represented. But I hope that made it simple for you. It, it works for multiple rooms, not just two or one in this case, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Let's test it. Thank you. 